So how's it going? Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Welcome. This is Sean. I do seekers. I do travel and everything in between. How to be more poggy. What is poggy? Poggy is attractive, handsome, and in the grand scheme of things, it means good quality. All right. And this episode is about my playbook on how to be more poggy. But before we go forward with that, I'd like to remind you that this is an advice episode. That being said, as with any advice, the rule is take it or leave it. And besides, the whole episode is done in the spirit of fun. Okay, let's get right to it. Play number one, pay attention to your clothing. I think we all must have a, a healthy level of consciousness when it comes to what we're wearing because it conveys a sense of responsibility. You have to understand what you're wearing to certain occasions, etc. You get me? Looking good often translates to feeling good. And when you feel good, you play good, it's uplifting, you'll just do better at school or at work or in any scenario. And because we're a sneaker channel, we're gonna focus on sneakers. At the end of the day, when all said and done, you're only gonna need two kinds of sneakers, a casual sneaker and a performance sneaker, all right? Two kinds. Now, of course, you can have multiple pairs of these kinds of sneakers, multiple casual sneakers, multiple performance sneakers, but if, you're, if you can only afford two sneakers, go with a casual pair and get a performance pair. If, if you can only afford one sneaker, go for a performance sneaker, that you could also use casually. It has to be a neutral, muted design, so you could use them casually also, right? So one pair of sneakers. And the basic rule here is that both sneakers have to be clean all the time. Now you might say that certain sneakers look better when they're dirty. If they're dirty, they, they, they carry a certain character. Yes, they do. Dirty sneakers do carry a certain character, a dirty character. Now don't get me wrong, I'm all for character, I'm all for I'm all for a little wear and tear on the sneakers. It means that you've loved the sneaker enough to actually wear them and use them often. Yes, I'm all for that. But when the sneaker gets dirty, please clean them. I'm recommending two sneaker cleaning videos. I'm gonna put the links at the description. They're from my friend Larry Barberan. Two sneaker cleaning videos. He did a good job in the videos. I think you're gonna enjoy the videos. Go check it out. Play number two, you should capitalize on a skill. One question to ask yourself is, am I good at something, right? It can be cooking, it can be music, dancing, you like the performing arts, you, you make videos, martial arts, skills, right? A special skill just makes you more interesting, makes you more attractive, it gives you a social circle. If you're already somewhat good at something, take steps to improve, take steps to get better. Be an expert at whatever skill you do have. Now, cooking is a pretty simple and easy skill to acquire. Cooking is impressive, by the way. If you're a guy who can cook, you're automatically interesting. You're attractive, right? You're the life of the party, you'll get invited, and they know that you make this killer dish, right? Now, you have to learn how to cook. You don't need to learn every cuisine out there. Just be good at one or two dishes, then you're made. One of the easiest dishes to make is adobo. It's easy to make it, but it's also easy to screw it up. I have an adobo video. I'm gonna put the link in the description. Go check it out. Start cooking. Play number three on how to be more boggy is being health conscious. All right, and being health conscious can be manifested in several ways. You know, you go to the gym, you have your regular sports, you have your weekly sport, right? Uh, you eat healthy, you, you, you do keto, you observe intermittent fasting, so many ways. It's also important to be proud of what you've achieved. For example, you'll post pictures of your keto meal, you'll post a status update on what happened with your intermittent fasting or whatever the situation was, there was an interesting event in your, in your intermittent fasting journey. You wanna document that, you wanna journal that and publish it on, on your social media. Go ahead, it, 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 it keeps you accountable, you know, and you're announcing to the world that, hey, I'm doing this, I want you to watch me, watch my transformation, etc., etc. That's good, but there's also overdoing it and it becomes annoying. And it's super annoying if you're a health conscious guy and you dish out advice, and you ram it down other people's throats, don't do that. 
Anyway, being health conscious ties back, again, to looking good, feeling good, and playing good. If you're healthy, you just perform better, you live longer. And here's a follow-up advice to being health conscious. Start now, right? No, no waiting needed if, if you plan to get on a, uh, on a specific diet. If you plan to work out, do it now. Don't wait for end of the month. Okay, it's September, I'm gonna start September 1st. Just do it now. Play number four on how to be more poggy. Be kind. Kindness is the hallmark of the strong. It's the signature of the successful. You have to be kind. It's not easy to be kind in a world where there are so many unkind people. You know what I mean? That's precisely why it's the signature of the strong. You have to consider other people's feelings. You have to be respectful and sometimes that's not easy. It's so easy to get envious of the accomplishments of other people. And you know what losers do? They attack that person and that's when the bashing starts. You say negative things about the person. You get other people to do the same and uh, you, you know that's when bullying starts. It happens in school, it happens at work, it certainly happens online. And that's what the losers do. If you're strong, if you're kind, you will have the restraint, right? You'll take it in, you'll process what's going on. And because you're kind, you won't resort to the bullying and everything else that comes with all that negative ne negativity. Being kind means being strong by putting others before you. So that's the playbook, guys. Pretty simple. That's my playbook. Again, as with any advice, the rule is take it or leave it. And again, this is all done in the spirit of fun. And that's all the time we have for this video. And before we go, I'd like to remind you that your value as a person is not measured by what's on your feet. Be kind. That's more important than sneakers. I'll see you next time.